Hi friends! Today's video is going to be a quarterly planning setup. I had originally planned on posting this video prior to making a separate planner channel. For those of you who have been watching my quarterly planning videos and my planner videos, you know that I last year took Sarah Cannon's HB90 course and it is time again for the planner course. So I wanted to go over that with you guys. I'm going to be doing a spread in my planner for the course so that you can kind of get an idea of what's included in that. I will have a link in the description box below if you want to sign up for the HB90 planner course. It is an affiliate link. Sarah was very kind to offer us affiliate links for the June edition. So that will be linked for you down below. Also in today's video, I will be using these fine point gel pins from Parku and this was sent to me for review by the Parku company. So I figured I might as well kill two birds, one stone, do my planner layout with these gel pins that I want to try out. They're quick dry, lots of pretty colors, and they're fairly inexpensive. So we're going to be doing a pen review and going over the HB90 system and hopefully you all will join me for the ride. So what is the HB90 system? The HB90 system, it was created by Sarah Cannon, who has both a Sarah Cannon channel for her fans, as well as a heart breathing channel for her planner content as well. And it is essentially a 90 day planner system. And she does a course. You can buy the HB90 planner without taking the course. She does sell that on Etsy. But there is also a course that you can take that kind of shows you how to go through everything and how to better use the downloads so that you can make a 90 day program. If you have seen my Kanban board, that is part of the HB90 system. If you have seen this section in my planner, this is where I plan out my my steps that I need to do that week for the HB90 system. So there's a lot of information and when I took the course, it was a three day course. And at the beginning of this year, Sarah actually upped it to a full week course. So it is a full seven days of videos. And I'm going to make a list of all of the videos that I need to watch. So that'll give you guys an idea of what will be in the course. And as I said, we'll be using these pens instead of my regular. I typically use the Pilot pens, but we're gonna use these ones today and give them a shot and see how we feel. I did that because they said they're quick drying and they are, they didn't smudge at all. They are, as I said, very inexpensive and you can tell that from the way that they're made, but it's literally $10 for this pack. I will link it in the description box below if you're interested in purchasing these off of Amazon. The company also sells erasable pins that are not gel pins, but they have erasable pins as well. So also things to note, I don't have super pretty handwriting, so you're just going to have to live with what you get. The orange did smudge just a wee bit.
so that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 29 videos over seven days. And one of my favorite things about this course is that once you have purchased the course and you use the course, you have access to it for life. So as I said, I did this course last year when it was still a three day course, but you can take the course again every three months and follow along with it to set up your next 90 days. So that's what I'm going to be doing uh, for the week of the 14th. I'm going to be going through and doing the planner course again, which is why I set up this page so that I can check things off as I am doing them. So if you are interested in checking out the HB90 course, please check out the link down below so that you can do that. Let's move on to these pens. I like these. They are, they will not replace my Pilot G2s. They write just as well, but they're not as comfortable to hold. I mean, writing wise, these are just as good as these, but they're not as comfortable to hold. Um, they're a little bit wider and they don't have like this cushy grippy guy here, but as far as writing purposes, they're fine. And also, as I said, these run about $10 for the pack of 14. So if you are looking for pretty colored pens to use in your planner, but don't have a lot of cash, that's a good way to go. I'm going to add these to my collection. I probably will rotate these in when I'm doing some planner things, especially because they have some interesting colors. I really like this teal color and I really like this berry color, cranberry-esque color. I like these two a lot. I don't have these. I might have these in my giant pack, but I don't have anything like them in these. And I prefer these clicky ones versus the ones with caps. So my other ones all have caps. I love them, don't get me wrong, but my big set has caps. So these are great in the world of clicky pens. That is pretty much going to be it from me today, guys. Like I said, I just wanted to go over the HB90 planner course and these pins that I needed to do a review for. Today's kind of like a housekeeping video. I had some things that I needed to go over but hadn't been gone over yet, so I figured we would just do them all at the same time. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to hit me up in the comments section below. I will be happy to answer to the best of my abilities. And that is all I have for today. I post reading, writing, and book related videos on Mondays, Wednesdays, and bonus videos on the weekends. If you don't want to miss anything I have going in the future, make sure you subscribe to both channels. And until then, I will see you guys next time. Bye!